Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This video shows a case of basal growth, a mass in the urinary bladder. You can see the urinary bladder and a mass is seen in the base of the bladder and is attached to the left lateral wall of the urinary bladder. The probe was placed opposite to the international norms. So this mass lies along the late left lateral wall and the left lateral side of the left side of the base of the urinary bladder. This is a thick sludge seen inside the urinary bladder. An ultrasound scan is used to show if cancer is present and how large it is. An ultrasound cannot always find small tumors, so additional tests may be required. Ultrasound scans with full bladder is mandatory to see all findings. Now you can see the blood flow, a significant blood flow is seen inside the growth. One of the basic abdominal organs that is assessed during transabdominal ultrasound examination is the urinary bladder. The bladder must be filled with urine. This is a prerequisite for a reliable assessment and at the same time an acoustic window in examination in examining adjacent structures and organs, for instance the prostate gland and the female genital organs. Sonography enables detection of 95% of exophytic lesions within the urinary bladder with the diameter exceeding 5 mm. Mostly it is carcinoma of the urinary bladder due to its malignant character and the need for aggressive surgical treatment. A correct diagnosis of this disease is essential for patients as the lack of adequate treatment and delayed treatment considerably affect prognosis. Now you can see the mass, again the mass and the thick sludge and the mass lies in the left side of the base of the urinary bladder and along the left lateral wall of the urine filled urinary bladder. A bladder ultrasound can show how much urine the bladder holds when it is full and whether someone is completely emptying the bladder when urinating. Bladder ultrasound is often done along with an ultrasound of the kidneys. Now this is a female patient and you can see the uterus, cervix and the urinary bladder. Bladder cancer develops when cells in the bladder begin to grow abnormally rather than grow and divide in an orderly uh, way. These cells develop mutations that cause them to grow out of control and not die. These abnormal cells form a tumor which may cause chronic, chronic irritation on the lining of the bladder. Bladder cancer or bladder tumors are relatively common and most bladder tumors are cancerous. Bladder cancer signs and symptoms may include hematuria, blood in the urine, painless in about 80 to 95 percent of the patients. Ninety percent of the people with bladder cancer are older than 55 years of age and the average age of people that are diagnosed with bladder cancer is 73. Bladder tumors are abnormal growths that occur in the bladder. If the tumor is benign, 
it's not con it is it's non cancerous and would not spread to other parts of the body this is in contrast to a tumor that is malignant which means it is cancerous there are several types of benign tumors that can develop within the uni bladder thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks